Okay, so here is my review of this beautiful set from ZOYC. Uh, I think if you've watched my other videos uh, from my YouTube channel, then you've seen that I'm actually quite fond of this, uh, of these notebooks. I, I will soon uh, make a video comparison of them with uh, Amidori, but um, let's talk about this one, this set, which I had planned to put on my Christmas list for Christmas, of course. And then uh, the ZOYC uh, offered me to review this, and so I can resist the opportunity. And it's actually better than I thought, because when they arrived, so they arrive in this pouch, I'm not doing an unboxing, because I prefer to talk about the uh, set itself, rather than do a long unboxing video. And what uh, my first reaction was, wow, it's a lot darker than what I expected. But there's one thing, it, it's actually very oily, because it's been made, just made, it's actually brand new and the fact is it's not going to look like this in a few weeks it's going to look a lot more like this little bit that you see okay so let's have a look at this so it's a uh, Florentine or Florentine, I don't know how English people say this but it's a design from uh, Italian Florence and it's flowers and plants. It's actually quite discreet if you do not like the idea that everything is visible. And it's quite feminine. It's not the kind of leather notebooks that you would see a man with, actually. But my husband said they were actually very, very nice. And what they will look like, I think, is more like the inside. I'm not going to show you right there. I'm going to uh, put a bit of suspense into this, but the fact is that um, it's going to look a lot different in a while, I guess. And so I will do a, a video to show you actually how it looks after a while. So what I love about these notebooks is first, they are very cheap. Second, very nice quality. And third, they look really, really nice. And this one is actually, I think, the uh, most beautiful and most vintage looking one that I have. Um, I also have another one which looks a bit vintage and I will show you um, um, how it ages because I always put this one on which is the dark coffee. Okay you do not recognize the dark coffee because it has become more like a light coffee but on the other side you see it's a lot, um, little bit darker and that's the reason why is that it's always on this side and this one so the sun so it's going to age a bit like this one did it's going to become a lot clearer and if I scratch a bit on it you will see there see that's the color that's going to show underneath and then the carvings will remain black and as you see I've got nothing well uh, my own nails are a bit dirty but not on the very bottom. Okay, and let's have a look inside then. So um, the elastic band, which is a thick one, was actually uh, very tight on this one. And I'm going to change this because it's very tight. I like it tight, but not that tight that it leaves such a strong indentations inside. Okay, look at this. That's a red brown red brown color, that's gorgeous, amazing and it's going to show on the other side as well so that's what you're going to get it's a bit, uh, a bit less strong but it's going to show on the outside okay, and inside you got, as usual you always get three notebooks inside the uh, small one and you never know which one you will get so this time I got a lined one, a calendar and another lined one but it changes all the time. You will see soon that I have another pictures of a honey colored one and you always get different things, you never know what you'll get on this one. Okay, so let's have a look at the big one now. Alright, and I think that's the first video on YouTube that you will find of this uh, big regular emboss. I have looked for it on YouTube and never found one, so that's the first one. Okay, and here you see it received a uh, Sorry, a scratch already that's going to show and actually you can erase it a bit 
Oh, if you do not like scratches on these, actually, you can just put a bit of water and turn around with a bit of cloth, and it's going to um, ease the uh, wax everywhere, and it's going to disappear a bit. That I think that's what you want, isn't it? With that kind of product, you want it to show. Okay, so this one is already uh, after a few hours of. Uh, having fun with it, it's already uh, changing color as you can see here. So it's going to uh, become clearer very quickly, very, very quickly. So let's have a look inside this. Very, very tight. So tight actually that I actually scratched my fingers on this. Ouch. Right, again, this. Let me show you. I hope the camera is going to uh, deal with it. Okay, it does. Very nice. Right, and on the other side, maybe, if you please. All right, so that's what you get. It's nice, isn't it? Look at that. It's colored everywhere. So it's nice quality. Very nice. Okay, so inside you get a uh, creamy blank notebook. I like the quality of that paper. It's actually nice with ballpoint pens. And I like the fact that it's craft so I can decorate it. Um, maybe I've got an example on this one. Yes, like this one, reading notes with stamps. Actually I put other things inside, pockets, lots of stuff. And a zipper pouch, plastic zipper pouch, a calendar. Here you've got the other side of a zipper pouch with credit card pockets and another blank insert. That This will change. What you can count on is the calendar and the zipper pouch. You will always find this. I've always found this in the big one. Or maybe not the calendar, I can't remember. But anyway, that's the other side. Looking very nice as well. That's going to be really amazing and gorgeous in a few weeks. Oh, that's going to be my... Oh, I'm actually thinking of being... Ow, that's very tight. I cannot put it back. That was way too tight. Alright. Look at this. But this is gorgeous, and this is cheap, because you've get you get two for, um, well, from the UK that's twenty nine point ninety uh, pounds, so it's actually quite nice. I mean, compared to uh, Midori Travelers Notebook, it's quite nice, and it's a nice alternative. But that's if you like the vintage look of it. They've got other ones which are not vintage, and I'm going to review one just later. But this one I really, really love. And I really, really think that if you're interested in this one, you can really go for it. That's gorgeous looking. Very nice leather.